Good old Jules, being up to here, I'm back again, and we're going to be chilling, playing some games, well, specifically we're going to be playing some Ages of Conflict, as you can see, and <laughs> it's just one brilliant game, we've done some tests, done some mess around, and we're going <laughs> to do some conquering and destroying. I'm joined with Leo, aka Electro Rocket. Hello. And we're going to do some mess around and destroy. So let's get straight to it. With this, we're just going to do a speed roam in a sense. If, so we're just going to let them free roam themselves. So I think that's a good spin off. Do you think I mean Antarctica and this? Jesus Christ. What would we be otherwise? You tell me. I don't know! So that's what you tell me! <laughs> oh, oh! Yes! You've got to learn this stuff yourself anyway, otherwise you won't be able to... Delete you know, forever, yeah. He's trying to learn how to use YouTube, so... You know. Here we go. Everyone spreading out, trying to get what they can. Amazing. So the first war is between... Guinea-Bissau and Senegal. So these two. Kurz, I can never pronounce this. Pronounce this. Kyrgyzstan. Kazakhstan. Which means Kazakhstan might get higher. Because we're very. I want to watch this what battle. Well, yeah. they're already pieced out. Oh, no, that was an ally. Sorry. An alliance. Let's check the alliances, shall we? So, who's this with? Indonesia's with Brunei and Timor Leste. Down here as well, Cameroon and Nigeria. Oh. We've got Niger and Togo. Maybe at war with Brazil. This was at war with Guyana. Be gone quick. How's France doing? Relatively well, actually. Look at that, Jesus Christ. And look at the divide for Antarctica, South Africa, the United Kingdom, and Australia. Where is that? Where's the area for the United Kingdom? Is it just these islands here? Just these islands here are owned by the United Kingdom, so they are able to claim this. That's absolutely not. So she's one country still at it. Seems like the British are at war with anyone. Are they? No, they're not. Fair enough. Lithuania and Latvia are at war. Let's watch this fight, because they're relatively the same size. And we fell. Czechia is going to fight and declare war on Germany. Let's see what go goes on here. See who wins. Czechia just took out Germany. What a battle, that's absolutely nuts. I just can't believe that. Oh, who's attacking you there? Chad just declared war on Libya. Silencio! It's a battle for the ages. Oh, is Chad going to fight back? They've got much, much more resources. A lot more resources, that's what I was trying to say. It uh, seems like Libya had the upper hand, but did not take them out. Haiti and Colombia over here in South America. Let's watch this battle. Colombia seems to have the upper hand. It has more resources, but will they be able to hold out? It seems like they've created an alliance with Suriname. It seems like also Venezuela's got allies of Haiti here. And the Dominican Republic up top. Either way, they took over and they are no more. Allies. It's quite a mixture, aren't you? I like the look of um, that alliance up here. Is it United Kingdom, Norway, and Iceland? Yes. It's quite a strong for the, you could say, Nordics um, and the Arms. What's going on over here? We got two alliances fighting for the for dominance. I'm surprised that Russia's not being um declared war on. Although it does have an ally of Estonia who has pushed 
Wayne to Finland, with Sweden and Estonia splitting it. Who's just gone to war? Albania. Basically, half of Europe just declared war on each other. Whoa, 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 what is going on here? France, well, the United Kingdom just declared war on France. Although their allies are staying out of the battle. Let's see who wins this fight. Seems like it could be an interesting one. The border. Seems like the English Channel is being fought across constantly. Look at the alliance here. While that battle continues, the alliance here between Spain, Algeria, Tunisia, Bosnia and Her Herzegovina, I can never pronounce that either, and Albania. Seems like the United Kingdom has reached France's lands. Slowly pushing in. Oh, with Italy finally pushing into Bosnia. Will they peace out in time? Will Italy strike? Seems like Italy may have the upper hand. And Bosnia is no more. Seems like both United Kingdom and France have peaced out. With the UK cutting very close to the France's capital. Paris is at risk. Finally, Italy and France go to war. It's easy to claim war in France for France just to kick their ass. Oh my god, France is going for the full push today. Is it France? Oh no, sorry. I'm so sorry. Switzerland has declared war on Czechia, who was the killer and destroyer of Germany. Need to add Enola. Switzerland charges in and Czechia is no more. And the final country will be crowned Unola. Crowned Unola. We have a war over here in the Middle East. With Pakistan and India. And Turkmenistan and Kazakhstan. Two wars, two fronts. Who shall win? We'll have to wait and see. Seems like India and Turkmenistan is the upper hand. Will that turn? Seems like Azerbaijan is helping and providing for Turkmenistan with their alliance here between Azerbaijan, Iran, and Turkmenistan. Such a front. Then again, Kazakhstan with its Kyrgyzstan, I can never pronounce that, as its closest ally. <laughs> with um, India and its alliance with Nepal and Bhutan. Let's check the statistics for alliances. The biggest alliance is order of Russia which at the moment includes Russia and Estonia currently at war with Sweden and Norway second in, in is Indonesia Commonwealth between Indonesia Brunei Timor-Leste Australia and Myanmar currently at war with no one the next one is the Bolivia Co coalition Coalition, can you pronounce that then? Which includes Bolivia, Brazil, Paraguay, and Peru. All at the moment at war with Chile, who has conquered Argentina. Well, Mr. Pinetti, this one I thought for breakfast. What? Bacon wrap, three little chunks of sausage roll. Not like three sausage rolls, like four is a sausage roll. Yeah. And I've got orange juice with it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Continuing. Operation of Taiwan. There's an alliance between, this never happens today, between Taiwan, China, and South Korea, which actually has united the Korean Peninsula. Also taking some of Japan's land. With now another war striking between Switzerland and Austria. Actually, sorry, Switzerland, Austria, and Poland. Switzerland has declared war on Poland and Austria. It seems like Switzerland is slowly losing, not getting the upper hand. And goodbye, Switzerland. 
Austria has now taken over some of the peninsula. Slovakia declares war on Austria just to be taken out by Poland. Seems like up north between Russia, Estonia, Sweden and Norway they've all pieced out. With the pact between the United Kingdom, Norway and Iceland expanding to include Belgium and Sweden. A five way pact. Which is called the Norway Union. Looking down here like Greece, there's a war between Romania, between Romania, Greece and Albania. Albania and Greece fighting Romania. Albania is fooled. Fell, sorry. It's a tough fight. Seems like Greece may turn. Oh. And is gone. The gigantic pact has grown down in northern Africa between Algeria, Spain, Portugal, Greece, Egypt, Libya, and Syria. Massive pact. One that could probably take over the world at war with Morocco. Poland is at war with Denmark. Denmark's slowly been swept away. Barely able to hold on. 99 sta stations. 99 nations still stand. As you can see here with United Kingdom again trying to push through into France. Denmark has somehow pushed through into the ocean border of Iceland and United Kingdom. How? I don't know. But what I do know is part of Norway is now owned by the UK. Looks like any second at all. Here we go. Belarus was just killed by Russia. Definitely not today. <laughs> We've got another massive war between Iraq and Saudi Arabia. With Saudi Arabia being backed by Sudden, Yemen, Omar, o Oman, sorry, Qatar, and Afghanistan. At the moment, it seems like Iraq has the upper hand. But will that continue? Continuing over, we can see that the Mongolians have attacked China. And Japan has been claimed both by both Russia and South, or South Korea. Mongolia seems to be slowly being pieced out. Holding its borders... There? It's slowly diminishing. Is the revolt on? So a revolt. The revolts I I turned off for this. I thought okay. it'd be best for a one-on-one -on -one fight. Um, Seems like Mongolia. Oh. Over, and if you and if you want to be crowned no, no, feel free to subscribe today. It's free. <laughs> Take it from me. What you should do when it comes to a one v one, one should be Milo and one should be Nola. Turkey v Georgia. Seems like Georgia's putting on a fight, but the borders are staying stable. Now, Iran and Georgia are on the same alliance. The alliance includes Iran, Georgia, Azerbaijan, Iraq, Turkmenistan, and T Tajikistan. Tajikistan? I've never heard that one. And the other alliance between Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, and Pakistan. Again, we've got another war on the far side next to India, with India's alliances being Nepal and Bhutan against Bangladesh and Myanmar. Sri Lanka, sitting in alliance with India, Ali watching. Seems like India's got on the far side. Slowly diminishing Bangladesh. I don't think Bangladesh will last long, but as you can see on the far side, Kazakhstan's pushing into Tajikistan. <laughs> will Bangladesh last? Oh my god, a war of the ages. China and Russia are at war. China just declared war on Russia. Well, the alliances help. Sadly, Mongolia is also 
our war with Russia, but now in an alliance with China, South Korea, and Taiwan. Will they survive? With Russia at nearly 20,000 in golden resources, Mongolia at 2,500, and China at 9,000, will they last? South Korea Mongolia. only reaching 2,500. Can no. they push through? Mongolia collapses. Another capital yeah. lost. Check on Australia. Going down. Australia's Australia at peace. Just hasn't been in, in a war yet. Although parts of New Zealand have been captured. Yeah. France has half captured um New Zealand. It seems like China's going for a big push into Nyma. With Bangladesh and well just Bangladesh back in them. <laughs> Seems like soon, India and their alliance may join the Chinese as of the common enemy. China still being attacked has peaced out with Myanmar. The alliances stand as Order of Russia, which includes Russia and Estonia are currently being attacked by Latvia. In second is Operation Panama, which includes Panama, Cuba, Canada, Nicaragua, and Greenland. Currently at war with Haiti. Third is Haiti Union, which is between Haiti, Venezuela, Dominican Republic, the United States, and Mexico. At war, with Operation Panama. The Taiwan Commonwealth is between Taiwan, China, and South Korea. Recently at war with Myanmar. And the Indonesia Commonwealth, including Indonesia, Brunei, Timor Leste, Australia, Myanmar, Bangladesh, and Papua New Guinea. Also recently at war with China. Let's continue. A massive war has erupted with Poland. With Poland fighting Latvia, Ukraine, and Hungary. With no allies, they may fall. The line is holding for how long? We may not know. Poland stands. May not for much longer. Russia, currently also at war with Latvia, as of killing its ally, Estonia. Poland may last. Poland moving its capital to the Western Front. Pieces out with its enemies. Latvia pushing into Russia. Russia slowly falling. Will Russia last? Latvia at its strongest is losing resources absolutely rapidly. So close from the capital. Pixels and pixels away. Russia is now pushing Latvia back. Will they peace out? Will they not? They peace out. As everything looks to be a standstill, a war erupts in India between India and Myanmar. Myanmar being attacked by its allies, especially Australia, and India being backed by Bhutan, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. A war again erupts between Kazakhstan and Tajikistan. Both Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan charging into Tajikistan. <laughs> Another war has erupted with China fighting Vietnam and the Philippines. With Taiwan barely holding 
being surrounded by China at this moment, although they are allies. India and Myanmar have peaced out. Will Australia be pushed out of Antarctica? Will they last? For a peace treaty. A massive war erupts both in Africa between Algeria and its borders and India and Myanmar erupts once again with India fighting both Pakistan and Myanmar and Nepal joining the fight to finally take out Myanmar. Will this war continue though? We fight on. Nepal looks like may not, it may not last one minute longer. Will they push back? Will they last? And sadly, Nepal falls. India finally trying to push itself back, push Myanmar back, is using what forces it has to try and survive. Only for a peace treaty between them. And a massive water erupt into Europe. United Kingdom with Belgium and Denmark charges into France. Opposing East Europe with Poland again versus Latvia, Ukraine and Hungary being supported by Romania. A battle for the ages. Will France survive? Most likely not. And France falls with Poland struggling to survive, holding its borders barely. Finally, Poland pushing into Hungary very slowly. The countries barely grow. grow. With a new struggle, a new height, there is a new alliance with the United Kingdom Commonwealth, which includes the United Kingdom, Iceland, Sweden, Belgium, Denmark, and Russia. Oh, and we better not forget Poland. And Poland. <laughs> the battle continues. Will Russia get involved? Will anyone get involved? That's the question. As Poland struggles and slowly pushes through a peace treaty. Another war is announced between Kazakhstan and Tajikistan. Tajikistan pushing into Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan? That's right. Belly holding on. Ky Kyrgyzstan stays. Barely in Tajikistan pushing into Kazakhstan. A peace treaty is involved. Only for Kyrgyzstan to, to diminish. A Tajikistan to carry on fighting into Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan's other ally, Pakistan, is fighting India. With India slowly being cut down into one small piece. India, sitting restfully with his two allies of Taiwan and South Korea, continues. They peace out, and life goes on, with another massive war between South Africa and its three borders of Namibia, Malawi, and Madagascar. The war continues. Sitting bracefully within South Africa is safe as N Nabi Namibia and Brain Fart Zone. Brain Fart Zone. Alert, alert. Brain Fart Zone. Brain Fart Zone. Namibia Brain and Fart Zone. Alert, alert. Gone. Brain Don't Fart worry. Zone. Namibia and. I just said it took me. As these two famous countries fall. Madagascar may be next. South Africa and Madagascar peace out. As South Africa slowly becomes a big power. 
At the moment, we have Russia on first with 17,000 pieces of land, Canada second with 10,000, South Africa third with 7,200, Brazil fourth with 7,100, and China fifth with 7,100 too. How are you, Leo? I'm good. Russia's been pushed into by Ukraine. Ukraine now holding most of Europe and parts of Russia. Uh, Russia has moved its capital. Mute for a little bit. Mute for a little bit, okay? That's fine. Back. Russia using its capital above where Mongolia once stood. Ukraine with its ally Latvia and Romania pushes in against Belgium. Belgium fighting two fronts in the south against Spain and Algeria and in the east against Romania and Ukraine. Will Belgium be helped by its allies? We'll see. As at the moment, Belgium seems to be at standstill with its allies. Will this continue? We'll see. Turkey are currently at war with Iraq, being supported by its ally Cyprus. As I turn on the alliances, you can see the clear eruption of fights and battles. It is now the year 2223. And the front in Europe has increased in distance. Now with Russia joined the fight for Belgium, including Denmark as a supporter. Latvia, Ukraine fight with Romain support. Who shall win? Let's continue. Dropping still to 46. You can see an imbalance in Africa and still a great divide in Europe between both the center and outer Europe. A battle rises again, no longer with India, as India has been demolished, but with Myanmar supported by Sri Lanka, Vietnam and the rest of its union. Against Turkmenistan, supported by China, Tajikistan and Iraq, who is fighting Saudi Arabia, supported by its allies. Now, the largest Asian nations include Vietnam in the east, Russia in the north, Myanmar in the west, and a very small China in the center. Let's continue. Let's push into Ukraine and Romania, slaying Latvia. Sweden joins the war, pushing the line back. Russia and Sweden struggle for Ukraine. Sweden pixels away from Ukraine, they peace out. Ukraine's capital may not last any longer. And Ukraine dem is demolished, with Romania being the last one standing, joining a new pact with Algeria, Spain, Egypt, Libya, Morocco, and Turkey as the new alliance. Massive wars erupt along the lines of Russia's border, finally peacing out. A massive disruption happens in Africa and Europe. 
zooming on this, you see the divide between Sweden, Romania, and Belgium. Fighting is Turkmenistan and Russia. Turkmenistan joined by China. Let's watch as this continues. Fighting Turkey is Saudi Arabia and Sudan. Turkey supported by its allies and joined in the war by Egypt. Egypt barely surviving. Moves over to Cyprus. Barely surviving with two lands of territory. Peace is out. A war again erupts in South America against Panama from Venezuela, Mexico and the US. Finally peacing out. With Chile pushing into Brazil and Bolivia gaining loads and loads of land only to peace out. Allowed. Saudi Arabia again pushing into Turkey, <sighs> making it look like Turkey may be no longer. I need to peace out. A massive war again erupts with R Russia being absolutely demolished by Romania. Look at that push in. Sweden holding Russia may be no longer. Sweden nearly absolutely demolished by Romania as they absolutely shove them out of their territories. Now, Spain attacking United, the United Kingdom. Spain barely holding on to its islands. And it's the Australia in the last pieces the country the nation may fall now with one nation left the United States is superior what a game well yeah, I know this was long and I know this may Hello. have been absolutely horrid, but this was a fantastic match. I'll give you that. With the US having the final height, 
and South Africa in second, and Turkmenistan barely holding on for third. That was absolutely fantastic. A brilliant taster. A brilliant addition to this game. So I'm glad that we've done this. I'm glad that we could do this. And so I want to say, if you enjoyed, enjoyed watching this, like subscribe below the video, and check out some other content on YouTube, Twitch, Rumble, and Odyssey. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.